Hello fellow Structure Sensor SDK developers. This video is a quick introduction to setting up and using the new 0.6 SDK ST mapper in your applications. We'll take a look at the Scanner SDK sample app to illustrate the techniques. Prior to the 0.6 SDK, ST mapper initialization was performed in Setup Slam. The sole mapper option was KST mapper volume resolution key a vector containing the number of cells in each dimension of the scanning volume. The pre-0.6 SDK mapper interface also exposed some properties, for example, live triangle mesh enabled and volume size in meters, which have been moved from the public interface to ST mapper initialization in the 0.6 SDK. Other properties, such as live wireframe mesh enabled, live triangle mesh subsampling factor, and live wireframe mesh subsampling factor have been deprecated altogether. The method set has support plane has also been removed from the interface. Let's review the changes in initialization of voxel resolution and scanning volume. In the pre-0.6 SDK mapper, volume resolution, really voxel resolution, was specified as a GLK vector 3 containing the number of cells for each dimension of the scanning volume. While this meant that non-square voxel aspect ratios were possible, in practice this was never done. The maximum recommended number of cells was 128. The scanning volume bounds was specified in the volume size in meters property. In the 0.6 SDK mapper, voxel resolution and scanning volume bounds properties have been removed from the ST mapper interface. Now voxel resolution is specified in units of meters as the KST mapper volume resolution key options parameter in init was seen. And the scanning volume bounds is now specified in units of voxels along each dimension in the options key KST mapper volume bounds key. With the improvements to mapper performance, the recommended maximum number of voxels in each dimension has increased from 128 to 290, yielding improved resolution. Let's review additional changes to the ST mapper interface for 0.6. The method set has support plane has been removed from the interface and replaced with the KST mapper volume has support plane key initialization parameter. The live wireframe mesh enabled property was removed and replaced with the KST mapper enable live wireframe key options parameter. Note that this key must be enabled for ST scene render mesh from viewpoint to render a wireframe mesh. New mapper initialization parameters include KST mapper depth integration far threshold key, which specifies the depth integration far threshold in meters. This provides finer control over what range of depth values should be considered by the mapper. The KST mapper legacy key specifies whether the pre-0.6 mapping technique should be used. Using the 0.6 mapper technology is recommended for all new applications. Note that ST mapper initialization is now postponed until after the cube placement phase has been completed. Let's look at initialization of the new mapper in detail. Two option switches have been added to the scanner sample to illustrate initialization of the new ST mapper technique and high res mesh. The new mapper switch is a simple inverse toggle of the KST mapper legacy key. In other words, no equals use new mapper, which should be the option of choice moving forward. The high resolution mesh switch is used in the calculation of voxel size for KST mapper volume resolution key and KST mapper volume bounds key for ST mapper initialization. Looking at the calculation of voxel size and volume bounds. First, constants are defined for volume bounds based on the choice of high or low resolution mesh. Remember the option switch we mentioned above? The SDK reference states that the KST mapper volume bounds key defaults to 128, with a recommended high boundary of 290. In the scanner sample, you can see that the low and high bounds were chosen as 125 and 200. 
The voxel size in meters is then calculated based on the current volume size in meters, which has been set by user adjustment of the scanning cube size. And by either the high or low resolution volume bounds calculated above, based on the position of the high resolution mesh switch. Next, the calculated voxel size in meters is clamped to a range of 3 millimeters to 0.2 meters. Finally, the volume bounds in units of voxels is calculated, and the mapper is initialized with the updated voxel size and volume bounds values. Note that the calculations of voxel size and volume bounds embodied in the scanner sample are given as basic guidelines. Feel free to experiment with different volume bounds or voxel sizes. Be sure to drop a line to support at structure.io and let us know what you'd like to see in future SDK instructional videos. Thanks for watching!